Hi guys, this will just be a quick video. I'm at a Pizza Hut in Marble Falls, Texas, and I thought that I would do a quick video because I've got to wait 15 minutes for my pizza to be ready. And for those of you that view these from overseas, I can show you what the people in the USA are exposed to anytime they go out to eat at a fast food restaurant like Pizza Hut. First of all, uh, we have TV, one TV there on one channel and on a different channel there's a TV right there and then over there there's another TV on a different channel and for those of you that aren't confused enough there is another TV back there that's on another channel and over here is another TV on another channel and all the way over here in this corner is another TV and they're on another channel so you've got one two three four, five, six televisions, and they're all on different channels. And you also have the all-you-can-eat pizza bar and the salad bar, okay? And now we'll go in here, and this is the children's game room. So when you bring your children, you can give them quarters, and they can go spend them very quickly while you're waiting patiently for your food to be ready. They can ride in that silly-looking little truck there, or they can win all these exotic prizes. And if you put in $1 in this machine right here, $1 US, you can win one of these lovely little creatures right here. You got seven animals, so for seven bucks, if you're real lucky, you could collect them all. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And then over here, we have what's called Sticker Universe, okay? And each one of these little deals is you've got to put in four quarters and you get a, a watercolor tattoo that you can stick on your body. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't you be proud of your child? I would not. Okay, and then there for 75 cents, this is Animal World again. You can get one of those animals for three quarters and they come in these little plastic balls and your child gets to open them and inside is a little microscopic animal that's probably worth about three cents on its best day. And then, of course, they've got candy for 25 cents a turn. Down here, you get about a small handful of candy that's actually just a sugar overload, and your kid already weighs 400 pounds too much. Okay, then here, we've got a winner every time. This is tractor time. And you got two play, you get two plays for $1, 50 cents a play. And what you do is you use this little thing here, and you move this... Uh, piece of equipment up here and it has a little gripper like this and you drop down in the pile and you pick up what you hope you can carry to the hole over here and drop it in and then it comes out and that's your prize and you win a nickel prize for 50 cents or a dollar depending on how lucky you are now this is 25 cents per play and this is Mr. Claw and what this thing does Again, you've got a little joystick here, and you guide it over into this stack of stuffed animals, and it, you just push the, uh, you push the little red button here, and the little claw drops down. And if you're lucky, those little weak, extremely weak claws will pick up one of those stuffed animals and carry it to the hole over there and drop it, and then you can pick up your prize right there. About one out of 10 times, it manages to pick up something. And the same, this is the same logic over here called plush bus. And what you do here, the same thing, the little claw comes over, you drop it on the balls, and you, if you're lucky, you pick it up and take it to this corner over here and drop it in, and it comes out somewhere up at the bottom right down here. And for 50 cents per play, you can win about a nickel ball, if you're lucky. And then behind me are the video games, okay? And I don't know how much these games cost. It says suitable for all ages. This one is called Cruisin' Exotica. Okay, and it, uh, it's 50 cents a play. Okay, 50 cents a play doesn't show how long. And then over here, we've got another one called Big Buck Hunter. Uh, you put your money in, and how much money does it require? 50 cents again, 50 cents per play and you don't win anything, I don't think. 
you may win something, I don't know. And then here's one here that's unfortunately out of order. This one is called Skittle Ball, and uh, somehow or another you, kind of like pinball, those pinball machines, you pull back this plunger and let it go. The ball goes up and jumps into one of those holes, and you get points accordingly, and that's about it, I guess. But here you can actually, put, the kids can ride in this little thing called Mr. Softy's Delicious Ice Cream. And wouldn't that be great? So now you see how American children are raised. Not all of them, but some of them. And then over here, for those parents that only have one dollar bills, fives, tens, or twenties, lucky, lucky you, you can put your paper money in here and out comes the quarters that your children can spend just as fast as they can stick them in these little holes. And that's great. Did we have anything like this when I was a kid? I'm 72 years old. Yeah, we did. We had pinball machines. They took a nickel and sometimes I was lucky enough to have a nickel and I could play it one time. And that's that. So for you guys in Germany and Switzerland and wherever else in the world, this is a Pizza Hut in the USA. And this is the salad bar right here. You got lettuce, carrots, pickles, salad dressing, celery, uh, to cheese, tomatoes, and broccoli, and peaches, something else. And some little bread crumbs or whatever they call them. And then over here, of course, you got the pizza, which is loaded with calories. And I've got one order to go, but fortunately I will just have one slice tonight while I'm reading a book and drinking a glass of red wine. Pasta is very fattening, as you can see. <clears throat> but anyway, this is Pizza Hut in the good old USA. And uh, that is an example of what can happen if you eat pizza seven days a week, 365. Hey, Tanner, how are you doing? He works in the bakery at the local grocery store called HEB, and I've seen him around for a few years. I used to do wine and beer tasting events. But anyway, this is alive and in color. I just thought I'd give you a shot of a Pizza Hut in the USA. Just remember, if you ever come, you've got six televisions you can sit and watch uh, on different channels. And a large pizza will cost you $10.83 US. And uh, a, a large pizza is probably about, well, let's see, I'll show you the boxes. These are the large pizza boxes, I think. They're not yeah. very big. They're not very big. But anyway, that's that. So anyway, having said that, guys, live and in color from, uh, here you go, here's a menu sort of right there. I've, I got an order to go. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it. Rusty or U S T Y? It's not Rusty. Yeah. It, she said it'd be about 15 minutes. Anyway, uh, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, bye bye from the U S A. Buy U S A when you can. Drink plenty of water. Can we help you something, buddy? Uh, no, I'm just waiting on a pizza. Okay. I, I was just wondering what was. We're just curious. Well, actually, I was just doing a video. I've got a lot of viewers from overseas. Uh -huh. And they like to see how we live. That's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. All right. That's yeah. fine. No, I'm not a competitor. Or anything. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so retailers are always a little paranoid about people doing videos in their stores. And that's probably all over the world, not only here. And I understand that. So anyway, with that in mind, thumbs up, carpet in, adios. Bye, 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 USA. Maybe you can drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. Uh, actually to make you feel better. You may pee like a racehorse or a two or three pack of pasta, but you'll feel a hell of a lot better. Take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth several times a day. That relieves stress. And it lowers your blood pressure. So therefore you'll live longer. So eat healthy, uh, eat plenty of pizza, and uh, you'll live uh, probably about, oh, I don't know, five or six years. <laughs> anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.